It's the Full Force Movie News Burst Special, brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, and Justin General's Joe's Bell. You know the drill, the final Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins trailer is here, and we are breaking it down. It's the Full Force Movie News Burst Final Trailer Breakdown Special. Did you get all that? Easy for you to say, yeah. <laughs> I, was I got go, none of that. I was going to go, Justin, what is it? And then having not seen it. Uh, exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, the, the trailer has dropped ju- like minutes ago and Justin and I have jumped on to basically break it down. I would say scene by scene, but we've seen most of it already, haven't we, Justin? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of new footage. It's, mo- I mean, they swapped around the order a little bit, added a few little extra snippets of dialogue, but for the most part, it's just kind of rejiggered scenes that we've seen before. Done. For the most okay. Part. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, let's get stuck in then, buddy. All right. So the, we start off then with what was, I think, last in previous trailers, and that's that scene of Snake Eyes in all of his costume glory. Yeah. Kind of walking down the steps at the Arashikagi place and kind of getting on the motorbike and hossing off. So we've kind of got. You know, that that's nothing new. We get a nice broad shot of Japan, which, again, is something we've seen in previous trailers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the motorbike scene, we've seen all that already. We've seen the interior of the aeroplane where they're talking. Um, well, there's a couple of new, I think, pieces of dialogue at that stage, isn't there? And then we see um, mm-hmm. kind of Tommy looking down the barrel of the gun, which kind of is a new aspect, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we've ever really seen it from that perspective before. I mean, obviously, we've seen the scene where he moves the pistol and fires at something else, but we haven't really seen uh, Tommy looking back up at him as he's pointing the gun at him, I don't believe. And then there's a few more scenes of that amazing uh, warehouse fight, which... Yeah, there's one one in particular that looks really cool where it looks like maybe Storm Shadow sweeping somebody's leg and like lifting him up and then slamming him down. I don't think I saw that exact scene previously, or if it did, it was a flash cut that I kind of missed, but uh, no, and also that was the- a neat... The, yeah, there's like a side view of them all running as well like all yes. of those bad guys yeah totally yep. so that that's like again new footage we like we always like new footage um Absolutely. we kind of get back into the the private jet scene um and yep. we're kind of talking about that again there's a bit more there's some new dialogue here but it's all pretty much what you know what we've come to expect the arrow chicago yep. kind of wide shot of the uh the kind of like the the fight mat um we also get you know, again, like that kind of dark road motorcycle, mo- cars kind of image right. that, again, we've seen so many times before. Uh, and then an- another, finally, a new scene again of them approaching the Arashikagi Temple in their cars. So then, so we're probably seeing from the private jet journey to the Arashikagi Temple at this stage, aren't we? Yeah, that would make sense, I think, when they're first arriving sort of in uh, at the temple. And we get a new shot here as well of Haruka Abe on the steps, kind of yep. welcoming, welcoming them in. We haven't seen that before, have we? No, we haven't. Nope. That's kind of the first first little snippet we've seen of that scene. We then get a few more quick cuts. Again, it's all stuff we've already seen before, like um, Haruka Abe in the alleyway and, yeah, sorry, Kiko in the alleyway. Um, mm-hmm. The kind of, you know, some of the, the jungle scenes. Uh, I say jungle, like the forested scenes. Yeah. Um, Henry Golding walking across that bridge, looking all forlorn. Uh, the kind of cobra symbol flipping around. We've, you know, we've seen all of this before, basically. Uh, yep. Kenta blowing up what looks like the Arashikagi Temple. Morning right. light being shown off. We get a longer shot then of Henry Golding walking into the forest again with that kind of really interesting light shining in the in the distance. Yeah, there. I think wasn't that um, it, that sort of reminds me of sort of the first promo image we ever got, where it was kind of a little, you know, his silhouette kind of framed in fog a little bit and um i think that was the first promo image the first promo image yeah walking up the steps to the walking up the steps of the temple yeah, yeah. um oh my so God. It, it does kind of remind me of that a little bit that feels like a long time ago god man and we saw that image that was the only thing we'd we saw from the film from the moment yeah. it was released for about a year and a half <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah. that was that was crazy uh we get a little i think we get an extra scene here of the hard masters fight with a bunch of other guys i think mm-hmm. that's like an extra um, yeah. But then, obviously, another scene we've already seen of the Hardmaster, and then the uh, this is new. This is new coming up now, where we get the the Snake Eyes costume being delivered, as it were, and Scarlet yeah, I think, in this sense yeah. in this scene. I think they've shown 
some of this before i seem to i remember scar uh, like maybe a tv spot or something scarlet saying it's yours if you want uh, it or yeah, something like that right, so i, I think, think that right. wasn't a tv spot but it was never in one of the trailers so I this is kind of the first right. that's an indication that perhaps the suit that snake eyes wears is provided from the gi joe team i guess and, and which is kind of an interesting little twist to things but again like we see him in his costume then at that point the, the same scene we saw at the beginning of the trailer and yeah. the same scene we've seen multiple times now with the uh, the little yeah. visor thing closing and then he guns it off into the distance and then we get this is a new shot i think of um snake eyes as a, as a child inside the house that is on fire and mm -hmm. yeah you can kind of see that and then obviously that switches to the scene we have seen where he's like an angry you know upset young child transitioning into uh henry golding in the middle of that that fight club scene right seen all that before we get a lovely wide shot though of the arishkagi temple on fire don't we um i'm yep. guessing that's during the final battle um and then again quick cuts we've seen a lot of these before um you know just e everything that we've kind of seen to this point um i, I don't think anything really is standing out to me as new at, at this stage and we do get a new shot of the temple Mm -hmm. This is this is interesting. We get a new shot of the temple uh, from a slightly different angle. It's a slow kind of cut, and it looks a little bit like forlorn, and uh, you know, kind of like there's something going on there. And yep. then we see Henry Golding's face, and then it cuts, and then we get what is probably the best scene of the whole thing, isn't it, Justin? Yeah, because it's it's actually something pretty new that we haven't seen before, um, which is you know kind of a neat a neat element, and it's kind of the first hints that you get that they're that storm shadow might end up being linked to cobra by the end of the film and that the baroness is kind of greeting him in the in the plane and and um telling him that he you know she wants to make a bargain with him and then he reveals for the first time you know you can call me storm shadow amazing um, yeah that was a pretty pretty neat sequence it's kind of interesting the way they cut it um because i mean he's like in kind of a normal sort of jacket or whatever in the plane and then the next scene and, and you you don't really know well you might know but i don't know kind of where in the you know chronology that scene takes place but then after that scene he's like in his official kind of storm shadow outfit with like the pads and the armor and stuff like that in the middle of a battle i think by the arashikagi temple um so it's a weird transition because he says call me storm shadow in kind of his normal dress clothes and then he's got his like actual storm shadow outfit but there's no way of telling whether that you know the actual scenes take place in the chronology that they appear in in the trailer my guess is probably not um but uh but yeah it's just kind of an interesting way to kind of cut cut that scene in the film yeah and and also like you uh, you know we've we've heard you know multiple plot reveals and stuff like that yeah. about this so far so it is kind of interesting to i guess like to to see that happen and like you say and then the next thing he's in the arashikagi kind of temple you don't know who's fighting so right. but again there's some new scenes in that too like the kind of little kind of you know sword throwing yeah. kind of move uh, yep. is new so again like i would i would say in terms of like um i wasn't expecting something with so like so much regurgitated footage i kind of expected to see yeah maybe like half the amount of new footage you know in there yeah. so i'm i'm not i'm quite interested that they've gone this way because when you think about the international trailer Imagine, yeah. if, you know, that has like, that um, for me could have been this trailer. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that would almost make, have made more sense to have, you know, this trailer be the international trailer, which was very similar to the domestic trailer with just some scenes kind of worked around and a sprinkle of new footage. And then the international trailer would have been the final trailer where you get kind of bombarded with a bunch of new footage. Um, so yeah, it, it was kind of an interesting approach to have that international trailer, which I still think is the best trailer of the bunch, even including this for this final trailer, um, to kind of have that as sort of, not really an afterthought, but I mean, um, you know, it's certainly, you know, the international trailer was not really, didn't seem to me was broadcast quite as heavily as the regular trailer. It kind totally. of it snuck yeah. in there. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, t I have to agree on that, like, massively. Um, the international trailer is just so, it's full of new stuff, including plot yeah. points as well, which is something that, you know, that that's probably why they kind of veered away from it a little bit uh, right. in the US. Might but it's, it's not like you can't see it. It's not like we're in a position now where an international trailer makes any sense. 
Do you know what I mean? Right. Because like we, we watched it's it the bizarre. same day as everyone else. We did, yeah. Out. Like minutes later. I mean, it was it was on. I think the first place we saw it was Paramount's India YouTube channel. But I mean, it's totally accessible from the U.S. So I mean, just had to know which link it was to go check it out. So I mean, I don't really, I don't understand what the point is. Um, perhaps they're showing it in international theaters rather than you know yeah. American you know domestic theaters. That's probably that's probably, probably what they're doing. That's but... probably why the designation exists. Absolutely, right. yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that is the final trailer uh, for Snake Eyes GI Joe Origins. Only a short period of time to wait now, guys, before it's out. I think uh, glo- well, I say global release. A lot of people are going to wait till friggin' August, unfortunately, but. <laughs> Um, for the, for most, I think it's around July twenty third, and then there's a couple at twenty first and the twenty second, and the you know all sorts. So um, it's a it's a funny old uh, release schedule, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all it's this whole COVID thing has kind of put things a little bit sideways, and it's continuing to put things sideways. So um, yeah, the the release there's always a little bit of deviation usually between the American release and the, the international releases, but but yeah, it's uh, it is kind of jumped around a little bit, and I'm I'm still not entirely sure when I'm going to get a chance to see it yet, but um, hopefully we'll figure that out shortly. You're never going to get to see it, unfortunately, pal. Probably not. No. Uh, we've I think they've uh, just decided against you seeing it. <laughs> They've blocked me out. Yeah, I mean, there there is no theater within thirty miles that's showing it. Um, so it's going to be a, no matter where crazy. I see it, I'm going to be driving. But well, this is this, unfortunately Justin lives in the middle of the Serengeti. That's why he can't. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a relatively populated area of New Hampshire. I Just mean, no not, targets and not, no not like cinemas. southern New Hampshire. Yeah. Well, as of Christmas, we're going to have our first target. I don't know if I broke that news yet. We've actually the old Kmart that just died a year ago is being. Wow. rebuilt as a target i did not see that on the general's joe's news burst i know it's exciting <laughs> I, I every time i go grocery shopping i drive real slow past the plaza i'm like oh how's it coming oh yeah it looks the same all right keep driving amazing oh. and of course in typical full force fashion Justin and I finished the recording and then just minutes later this new clip arrives from the film which we'll probably discuss a little bit more in the week but effectively Scarlet is kind of introduced in this scene and it is really cool. Uh, Unfortunately Justin couldn't join me to talk about it so I'm just going to quickly run through it a little bit myself. Um, This is weird like doing a I suppose like on camera thing it, like for something like this that does feel odd um when i'm just on my own obviously with no one to help but i doing it anyway what i really love about this clip is obviously the fact we've kind of seen some of this in like hinted at in some of the other trailers but then we get like almost like the full scene of her kind of kicking off in this what looks like a bathroom uh like a hotel bathroom she kind of kicks the the trash can to take one of them out she's whipping the other two with those like sticks she pulls out of her luggage flips one of them over she gets grabbed from behind and pulled away and and it's at that point where we see snake eyes akiko and storm shadow watching on from obviously the video call they've been talking to scarlet this whole time and it's just this bit of humor where she's dragged off off screen and henry golding's like well you know she's gonna be all right akiko's like Scarlet and uh, Storm Shadow insi- like insist that Major O'Hara can handle herself, uh, and that's where he says some, like, something about being a Joe. And Snake Eyes is like, "A what?" And then Huri, Huri Karabe is then like, "They're the Joes. They're the good guys." And then you see Scarlet just pounding on this Cobra operative, just beating the crap out of him, smacking him into the wind, into the mirror, uh, and then pulling his shirt back and finding that little Cobra lapel pin type thing. Uh, again, branding, that's that's all it is, isn't it, in the, the world of G.I. Joe? Uh, just to know that you're a Cobra operative, you must have a badge on you at all times. Um, but yeah, really cool clip. Really love it. Sorry, Justin, couldn't have been on to chat about it, but we thought we'd throw it on the end of this. Well, I thought I'd throw it on the end of this uh, in the meantime. And yeah, just didn't want to miss it, really, and couldn't be bothered to do another news burst. So I'll, I'll put it somewhere in the description that we also talk about this amazing little exclusive clip really bearing down on the movie now. And I can obviously, you know, I, I can reveal that I have seen the film uh, in uh, an, a, a private screening, as that's what was said in the uh, the interview videos that we posted earlier today with Haruka Abe, 
with Andrew Koji, with Ursula Cabero, with Henry Golding. It was an absolute pleasure, honestly, to chat to them. All lovely people, all really excited, really like pumped and just really awesome, awesome people. Had a great time. Um, I can't go into too much detail about what I've seen other than I really enjoyed it. That's all I can say right now. Um, it just as Larry had mentioned on a post a while back, he said that, you know, it exceeded his expectations. It certainly exceeded mine, but I really just enjoyed it thoroughly. Some cracking scenes in there. And yeah, like I will obviously give a, a, a more in-depth review a bit closer to the time, but for now, that's all I can really say. And just hope that you enjoy the interviews we did, uh, or interviews I conducted with those guys. I certainly did. Um, Henry even showed us like a little concept piece on his phone of the con of the, of the suit, which was really cool, like a nice little exclusive there for the full force. So yeah, thought I'd tag this on the end. That's it now. Um, we'll move into the end of the show, uh, which I think Justin and I will take over from now. So thanks, guys. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to just quickly talk about, Justin, is our attempt at the warrior challenges that are happening on the virtual running club thing. I was wondering if we could do like a little update. Uh, my update's really, really simple. I've been so bloody busy, I haven't started it yet. So my my update is equally simple. I, you know, ever since we talked about it, I haven't even signed up. So <laughs> thank you for reminding me. I'll do that right after. No this. worries. Uh, later tonight, I'm going to be posting. I guess like. Uh, uh, an exercise that I'm going to be doing and that like that's it just to explain hey I'm starting this um so um I'll be doing that tonight and then if anyone else wants to kind of share what they're doing they can post on that post or they can post on the page or they can send us messages or whatever you want to do we're going to be <clears throat> attempting to reach these challenges at some point uh, and again yes we're going to take our time we're not going to do this ridiculous we're not going to just run ju we're not going to just like tomorrow we're going to be like right rock 5k as fast <laughs> as i can <sighs> because i will probably die so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it and if, if you want to want to join in if you want to do it officially great if you like you can go and sign up we'll have the link for the virtual running club uh in the description below but if you want to do it unofficially that's totally cool as well you can just do the try and do the challenges or build up to doing the challenges but we're going to be doing like i suppose just kind of keeping a track of our progress as yeah. we do it and every week we'll do an update um on the weekly uh, with myself and justin and that'll pre pretty much be the the that's it that's the, that's what we're going to be doing with that particular challenge and hopefully in a short period of time justin and i can be in the Arish Chicago clan there you go I did. Uh, I did get up at five this morning and do an hour of the chest and shoulders on the weight bench behind me. But disgusting. I don't know if that counts. Absolutely disgusting, <laughs> mate. It all counts because you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be carrying a backpack full of uh, dumbbells. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just. I, my 11 year old weighs about uh, 50 pounds. Maybe I'll throw her in a backpack or something. Tie a yeah. leg and her arm together on either side. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, I yeah, don't condone that. Uh, Justin, no. mate, thanks for jumping on and chatting about this final trailer breakdown and, of course, the virtual, virtual Running Club Challenges, which is what I'm all about at the moment and having not done anything yet. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. I well, think uh, af maybe after this week when the uh, movie news probably dies down a little bit and we'll have some time to deviate into some other topics that's a very good friggin point isn't it uh but anyway uh we'll have obviously when the film is out justin and i will be reviewing it post uh, after the actual film is is done and, and justin has seen it so, some i was gonna say sometime this christmas when i've actually seen it <laughs> and uh, we've got some amazing uh well you've probably already seen some pretty amazing stuff today because i've probably already posted it uh in in conjunction with the trailers so um i'm just gonna go out and say it because I've already I've already posted it. Um, we've uh, got some amazing interviews with uh, the cast of the Snake Eyes Joe Origins movie: Haruka Abe, Andrew Koji, Ursula Cabero, and of course uh, the man himself, Henry Golding. We got a little bit more time with Henry. We got about twenty minutes with Henry, which I've had to edit down because there was a lot of terrible language in it. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, the, the the first video has got the three uh, cast members in it. It's brilliant. So check that out. Uh, if you haven't already seen them, because I know that some of the notifications kind of go a bit awry. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back on the weekly, Justin and myself, and I'm sure we'll be talking about the Snake Eyes movie on Friday, won't we, Justin? 
Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. That's it for this installment of what is it, Justin? <laughs> Full Force Movie News Burst Trailer Special? Close. 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 It's actually the Full Force Movie News Burst Final Trailer Breakdown ah. Special. Uh, Final Trailer Breakdown Special. Amazing, right. amazing. Thank you to my awesome co host, Justin Generals Joe's Bell. See you guys next time, and as always, after three, one, two, three. Four. 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 You said that with zero enthusiasm. Just I'm now. sorry. <laughs> My bad. That's that's the enthusiasm I'm going to have after doing any exercise for this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can we can blame the the weight exercises before, before this. Uh, oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force